routine, basil. With over 300 days of sunshine every year, there's never a bad time to be in Basel. Set along the Rhine River, Basel is the third largest city in Switzerland. But tradition, quirkiness and a splash of rebellious spirit make Basel different to the rest. Seventeen, Appenzell. Enveloped in beautiful countryside, Appenzell is equal with its surroundings. The lovely village is complete with vibrant gabled architecture, a great selection of museums, some mouth-watering bakeries and cultural events. Sixteen, Swiss National Park. In Engadine, the Swiss National Park is renowned for its wildlife, a sanctuary set in an utterly Swiss landscape. With room to roam and well-maintained trails, it's exciting and easy to explore the country's only national park. 15. St Moritz A beloved winter destination since the mid-19th century, St Moritz remains at the height of Swiss glitz and glamour. The snow forecast beckons high-end ski bums from across Europe, hoping to explore the slopes that have hosted two Winter Olympics. 14. Gruyères In the flowing hills of French-speaking Switzerland, Gruyères' cobbled streets lead you to a colourful mix of culinary and cultural delights. In classic Swiss fashion, the picturesque medieval town is also a proverbial trailhead for adventures beyond. 13. Vazaska Valley Lost in the midst of Switzerland's many amazing destinations, the Vazaska Valley is home to azure waters, deep valleys and imposing summits. In southern Switzerland, the valley too has more than a splash of Italian influence. 12. Montreux This can be traced back to the 1800s, when the community slowly became the stuff of legend. It's a magical mix of Swiss Alps scenery, the snow-fed lake, and the rows of celebrated vineyards. This has created a renowned arts culture, of which the annual Montreux Jazz Festival, held in July, is the centerpiece. 11. Rhine Falls In Schaffhausen, the Rhine Falls is Europe's largest waterfall. The stupendous beauty of the falls is a natural spectacle, one worthy of a spot on your packed Switzerland itinerary. 10. Interlaken Interlaken used to be known as a watchmaking centre, but today it's more popular as a tourist resort. Tourists started coming to Interlaken in the early 1800s to breathe in the mountain air and partake of spa treatments. Its popularity only grew from there. 9. Lausanne Right on the shores of Lake Geneva and with views of both the Swiss Alps and the French Alps is the city of Lausanne. Serving as a gateway to a major ski area and the home to two major universities, it is easy to see the universal appeal of Lausanne. 8. Geneva Geneva is a city where international influences reign supreme. It is home to the International Red Cross Committee and the European headquarters of the United Nations, as well as 20 other international organisations. Environmental travellers will enjoy the fact that Geneva is a green city, with 20% of its land devoted to parks. 7. Zurich the city of Zurich is the largest in Switzerland and it is known for being a major financial hub in Europe. Even if you're not a part of the business world, Zurich has plenty to offer to visitors. To start, Zurich is located right on the edge of Lake Zurich. 6. Zermatt Zermatt is a small town that is famous for skiing and mountaineering due to its proximity to the Matterhorn, one of Switzerland's highest mountains. 
cable cars whisk skiers up surrounding mountains in the winter and hikers in the summer. Five, Jungfrau Region. The top of Europe, the Jungfrau Region brings together all that is great about Switzerland. Offering a bounty of outdoor adventures, it's the centerpiece of the Bernese Oberland with endless snowy peaks that descend via glaciers into the lush valley. Four, Lugano. Lugano has been nicknamed the Monte Carlo of Switzerland because of its growing popularity with celebrities. The city is located on Lake Lugano in the Italian-speaking section of this alpine country. Lugano, which is blessed with warm summers, dates back to the 9th century. Three, Lake Geneva. A joyous blend of Swiss and French soak Lake Geneva in opulent elegance, as captivating as the scenery itself. And with the Rhone flowing into Europe's largest alpine lake, encompassing high altitude peaks and rolling green meadows, there are few better. Two, Lucerne. There is something effortlessly romantic about Lucerne, whether it's the glacial-fed lake that reflects the world like a mirror or the utterly walkable old town. Magic abounds here. Medieval buildings have become the home of modern luxuries and comfort. One, Bern. Bern is a picturesque medieval city with a history that dates back to the 12th century, though it did not become a part of the Swiss Confederacy until the 16th century. While not the largest city in Switzerland, Bern is the capital. Its most famous attraction is the Zitglog, an ancient clock tower with moving puppets.